Roof Dogs. Welcome, Gail here from Greyhound Home Care. I see this picture caught your eye as much as it did mine, so I decided to string together some stories from across the globe of dogs who are in the news for surveying their kingdom from the highest pinnacle. Let's get right to it with our cover dog from Aberdale, South Wales. According to the Daily Mail, it's called A Hound with a Head for Heights. It must have been raining cats and dogs to explain this startling sight, and it could prove a tricky game of fetch when this intrepid pooch's owner wants to call it back down. Standing bravely at the top of the gable end, 25 feet up, the pet has earned its new nickname, Rufus. Neighbors say the deft animal often saunters along the terraced row in Aberdale, enjoying views of the South Wales valleys. Carrie Edwards, 28, who took the snaps, said, I'm not sure how it gets up there, but a lot of the houses have extensions, so I think it jumps up on them and then climbs onto the roof. This next roof dog story is a new twist on Bring Your Child to Work Day. This story was reported in the Rocket Roofing blog with clips from the BBC. It's called Dog and Thatcher are Roof Pals. In Norfolk, UK, Richard Houghton of Broadland Thatchers takes his five-year-old dog up on the rooftops while he works. Houghton first took Axel on the roof when he was seven weeks old, and the dog has been a steady fixture on the job ever since. Axel, a mixture of Labrador, Rottweiler, and Newfoundland, happily sits on the rooftop and watches the crew thatch the roof. Axel sits on the roof four to five hours a day. If it's too hot, he stays on the ground and sleeps in the shade. Often, customers invite Axel inside their homes and spoil him with treats. Described as a loyal and happy dog, and with someone behind him for confidence, Axel has learned to climb up the ladder. When it's time to come down for lunch, or at the end of the day, Axel jumps on Houghton's shoulder for a ride down. I want to mention, by the way, this dog weighs seven stone. And for Americans, that's about 98 pounds. Currently, the crew is thatching a commercial roof, the Three Horseshoes Pub in Scotto. I hope I pronounced that right. Richard Houghton has been a thatcher for 17 years. His company, Broadband Thatchers, does reed thatching and roof repairs for cottages and commercial buildings in the Wilton, North Walsham areas. Sadly, Alex went to that great roof in the sky. I mean, way up in the sky. So these days, Richard's new work mascot is Shuck. According to the Times, Shug is only a few weeks old, but he already has a head for heights as he goes back to work each day with his master. The black Akita Labrador cross is carried onto the rooftops and sits patiently as Richard gets to work. He gets regular breaks and exercises when his owner comes down the ladder for lunch. Mr. Houghton said he's really enjoying the trade. By the way, Shuck is named after the local legend of a ghostly one-eyed demonic dog, Black Shuck, who is said to roam the countryside. If you're enjoying this video, please hit one of the share buttons while you're watching the next story. Sharing the video really does help Greyhound Home Care ascend to lofty heights, assuring you a steady stream of fresh Greyhound content. Story number three is about Check, a dog whose owner found a happy medium between having to lug the dog up onto the roof, like Shuck, or wandering up there unprotected, like poor old Rufus. Inside Edition reports the following. Dog gets watchtower built on the roof to keep an eye on the property. Meet Check, a nine-year-old Chihuahua Minpin who loves keeping an eye on his family and their property. Check's owners moved to a new house in Hawaii with a large veranda on the rooftop. The dog, being curious, often made his way up onto the roof to keep an eye on things and look after his owners. However, due to the three-foot wall, he was not able to see what was going on outside of the house. One day, his owners left him alone in the house and were surprised to receive a call from the fire department saying that the neighbors reported that the dog had ventured from the veranda to the roof and was running around up there. Rather than blocking off the entire roof, the family decided to build a tailor-made watchtower for check. A friend of the family shared adorable pictures of the rooftop lookout pup on Twitter. And by the way, if you look closely at the picture, you'll notice that it's screened in. The woman who posted the picture said, My boyfriend Nick and his dad built it because they had moved into a new house with a large lanai with access to the roof. The first day they left their dog alone, he made his way to the roof to get a better look and see where we had gone. Well, thanks to the owner's idea, the doggy can now see his owners leave and come home. He enjoys hanging out up there during the day, too. The dog likes to keep an eye on strangers walking by next to the property as well. As many caring dog owners, Nick and his dad came up with a great idea to keep their pooch happy. Now this rooftop lookout post is the canine's favorite spot in the house.
And finally, I thought you might enjoy a look at how people in Mexico guard their homes with a dog on the roof. Now, these are not pets, but watchdogs, and they seem to really enjoy their lofty positions. I sure can't picture my Greyhound Lily up on any roof. She's only recently managed the challenge of skidding past my car when I park it too close to one side of the garage. Look at her now though, right through like a boss. Good girl, Lily. As you can see, I love telling stories. I'd consider making a video about your best Greyhound story, like maybe your gotcha day or your funniest story or your most profound experience with your Greyhound. To be considered for this project, please send your story to me at classicallygale at yahoo.com. Screenshot that email address. I'll respond one way or another to all entries. And I look forward to hearing from you. In Greyhound Home Care News this week, I'm honored to announce that my website has been recommended as a resource by the Greyhound Pets of Delaware. After you're done watching my blooper, relax with another video, or enjoy my latest article linked below, Dog Sneezing, How to Know When It's Trouble. Look sporty this summer in the new Greyhound Dash t-shirt, available in several colors over at the Greyhound Home Care store linked below. Come on, open this door, come on. Go on, Lily, go ahead. I'll see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.